What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today's the kind of day I feel like designing a little something and inviting you to join me through the process. Today we're gonna to be building a one or two page surfing website really focusing on basic design principles and design decisions. This would be a great video for those of you who are trying to hone in on basic design principles, figure out how to go from nothing to something, build up that creative confidence, or learn how to use a design program like Sketch for Mac. I hope you guys are excited to get started. I sure am, let's do this thing. Okay, we're gonna break this video up into two parts most likely, and in this first part, we're gonna address some of the color, typography, design choices, and get some initial layout onto our homepage. Start building out that homepage. In the second video, we're probably gonna build out this secondary page over here to the right. I have Sketch for Mac open. If you're using a different tool, that's fine. We're not gonna be doing anything that I think is really um, program specific, so use anything you want and follow along to the best of your ability. Um, I do have have some assets I've already created. I just gathered a bunch of surfing photography off of Unsplash, like free stock photography websites. I also, um, it's, it's maybe hard to tell, but I've created this kind of grunge brush effect um, over in like a photo editor like Photoshop or Affinity Photo. And I just figured it would be nice for the site to maybe have, to kind of match the waves you can even see. Um, I wanna have some of that white water wave effect. I just figured that would be kind of fun. So uh, I'm not gonna show you how I made that. It's basically going into a photo editor of your choice and using some grunge brushes and kind of creating a pattern. So I did that and just exported it out as a, uh, as a PNG. So I have that there. Now over to our initial set of design decisions. Okay, um, so I created a color palette and let's talk about how I created the color palette. Um, I use different tools like Adobe Cooler, but in this uh, experiment, I didn't use any of those. I just started building out a color palette um, kind of off the basic color wheel. So um, I saw a lot of blues over here on the right side of my screen in our surfing kind of photography, a lot of ocean, a lot of blues. So I wanted some warm kind of contrasting colors to you know make it pop a little bit. I figured it'd be a fairly neutral site, lots of whites with lots of beautiful blue surfing and wave photography. Um, then I chose some typography. Why did I choose this typography? Well, um, to start with, I have to make some design decisions like uh, uh, and just some constraints on the project. So I'm thinking this is more like a surfing magazine um, or like a surfing travel kind of website. And so I wanted it to have a little bit more of an editorial feel. Uh, serif fonts tend to do that, right? So I'm gonna have some big, kind of bold, chunky serif headlines that are still kind of like fun and adventurous and have a lot of character, but bring that kind of like editorial style to it. So um, for this one, I'm using uh, a Brio fat face, and I think I have it just like on regular weight. We'll see if that works or not. Uh, and then for my body copy, I'm using regular old generic Open Sans. It's a semi-bold, kind of like a weight of the Open Sans. And then I'm just reusing those same styles. So this is Open Sans. It's just our one of our contrasting colors. It's a little bit bigger um, for maybe like a block quote. Um, I've created like a navigation. So it's just slightly like, a, it's around the same size of our body text. It's just all uppercase and kind of played with the character uh, spacing there and, and the kerning of it to kind of make those stand out a little bit more and be a little bit more bold. And then I created, I don't know, an initial link style, um, just using one of my contrasting colors because that's where I want something to kind of pop. And again, we're using Open Sans for that and I just created an arrow style. So maybe we'll use that arrow style, maybe we won't, but let's talk a little bit about also how we got the sizes of this typography. So um, you can see, this is a, I've talked about this in other videos, this is a real kind of standard size, 16 pixels uh, for your body copy. And then I have this 65 pixel headline. Now, if you wanna create a scale, there's some sites that you can go to to create a typographic scale, and I'll link some of those down in the description. Those are kind of interesting to play with, and they create mathematically um, you know, different scales and sizes for all of your headings. Um, I, a lot of times, just use kind of the golden ratio. So I'll take this, sometimes I'll just do simple, I'll go half. Um, so I'll take 16, and I'll like bring it over here, and I'll just do times two, and that brings it up to 32. So now maybe that looks like a subheadline. Well, you can see like 27 is kind of close to our big block quote. So that's kind of something we had there. But if, if I was to take 32 again, and just times it by two, we get 64. That's kind of around this 65 
um, you know, size headline in our sans serif. So size is, there's a lot of contrast there and we just did a simple times two kind of scale. Um, that's an easy way to start. There's some more complex scales if you wanna check them out. I'll put those down in the links. Okay, um, I did actually uh, have like a little logo that I wanted to use and so I'm just gonna paste this in um, that I didn't mention up there. But uh, yeah, it's just like a little icon of a surfboard. I like it. Um, first thing we wanna do when we start any project is we wanna turn on our layout or our kind of like responsive grid. So um, I'm just gonna pop our surfboard into the very left of that responsive grid. A lot of people have questions about uh, how to use a grid, when to break the rules of the grid, and we're gonna be covering those a little bit as we go, but I think the first important thing is to set up your grid. In sketches, it's, it's as easy as pressing, you know, control L and turning on our layout. Um, we can also go out to our layout settings and we could adjust them here. It's on a basic 960 centered grid, 12 column grid. Um, that's a little kind of short for me usually, but we're just gonna stick with it. It's already set up, it's nice, let's just go with it, okay? So we got our grid set up on 960. Um, I think let's just, uh, let's just grab our, our navigation and see if we could just pop it in and make it work. I'm gonna center align it with my logo. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the right. Um, this is not a very, so far, adventurous kind of a header, but maybe it doesn't need to be, right? Maybe sometimes it just needs to be really consistent, really clear, really clean, um, and that's what we're gonna do. So we have kind of our navigation there. We're gonna take both of these things and uh, we'll just group them together and in our layers over here, we will just call this header, okay? I always like to name my stuff as we go. And then uh, let's start building in some of these other elements we have. So here's some typography. I'm just gonna take that, it's left aligned, first instinct, I don't know why, let's just slam it over to the left. This is a home page. we want it to stand out, right? So um, I, I like the idea of lots of white space, just really beautiful imagery. So let's go up here and we'll grab one of our photos. We're gonna grab our first surfing photo and just drop it in, okay? And I'm thinking, you know what, like, um, we want it to be kind of like a modern, fun editorial style, so we don't want to like maybe do any of this kind of stuff, but maybe we want to bring our photo up like this. Maybe it's a good size, maybe it's not. Maybe we can line it up on the grid just a little bit more, and then maybe we can bring it behind our typography, and there you go, we have kind of like a fun, modern, kind of like layout. Now, now maybe that's a little too big, and um, so we want to kind of start out here and just get the tips of our typography kind of going over it. Surfing in beautiful Tahiti. I like that, um, okay. What if we were to take our, our navigation size here and let's just bring something similar down here and why don't we just give it like a timestamp or something like, hey, this is like an article from today. I already have all those colors from my color palette built in, so maybe I'll just drop that right on top. You can see my spacing, it's really just literally like laying right on top. Um, there's not much space in between the bounding box of uh, the headline and my little kind of today mark. So I like that. And then, hey, like it's an editorial thing. We wanna go out to a link. Maybe we will see, let's just drop our see the trip details right there. We'll give that a little bit of space underneath just to kind of make it stand out. I don't like how long, let's, let's just check our grid, how's things going. I don't like how long this arrow is, so maybe I would just move the arrow in. This is not necessarily like, you know, you don't have to be this nitty gritty. Like this arrow could break the rules of the gutters of this grid. I just, I just didn't like the way it was. So um, that's not a grid specific thing, that's just a me specific thing. I'm making that decision as I go, and the only thing that I can say is because I like it, and that's okay sometimes. So let's do something like this. I'm gonna copy this uh, headline, but then I'm gonna grab everything up here, and I'm just gonna call this uh, Hero. That's like a standard name, it's like the Hero Lockup. We'll put that right there. And then down below, I'm just gonna paste that headline and we'll do like a secondary area, okay? Um, secondary area, that's kind of hard to say. Okay, we're gonna do a secondary area and we don't want it to be this big. I love that you can do math in Sketch, that's just a side note. I'm just gonna um, divide it by two and see how big it is then, okay? So let's see, it's about 32.5. I like that, let's break it just a little bit. I don't like that it's uh, decimal, so let's just bump it up to something like 36. I like that, okay? Um, we're gonna click it onto auto, so we can just stretch this thing out. I must have a manual line break in there. 
And why don't we do this? Let's center align the whole thing. So we, we're kind of like coming into a new section. And what, what would this say? Like um, other popular trips. Okay, something like that. Uh, so far so good, we need to do some body copy. So let's take our body copy, let's real quick just create a style out of it and say body. Um, the only difference is we are going to center align this and center align the whole thing. Make sure all that's centered. So it's gonna be a customized version of our body style. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's spread this out a little bit. We don't want the, the measure of the text to be too wide. Um, so let's just turn on our grid. Other popular trips, why don't we grab these three um, photos here. Let's bring our grid back up. You can see how I turn my grid on and off, on and off constantly. I'm constantly doing this because I want to have clarity of kind of viewing what I'm looking at. Um, let's just line these up 25 and we'll go 25 there so we have some consistent spacing. Um, but you can see, yeah, I just kind of turn things on and off, on and off because I want to see it on the grid. I want to see it off of the grid and just see how it looks. And that's I don't know, that's just how I do it. You don't have to do it that way, but that's how I roll. Um, okay, so now we have this grouping um, and we're just gonna get our link and let's just duplicate that link and bring it down here. And we will just go like that. Let's do, what's the surf spot like Cancun? Okay, we'll just get it close. I don't like how long the arrow is in this context. So we're gonna shorten that up and just bring it like that. Let's right align the text, okay. Um, and it's about, yeah, like that. So we could take the same link now, and we'll do here, we'll do Australia, okay. And uh, last one, let's do, I don't know, let's do Hawaii, because that's where I'm from, so, okay, cool. Okay, so far so good, I'm liking it. I think just in general, we wanna group some elements and call them, you know, other trip section. I don't like the spacing, so I'll just kind of move it up. I'm eyeballing things. I'm just, design decisions are iterative. So this is gonna be my first iteration. Um, I would most likely, after this video is done, go back through and do more, right? So um, I'm just gonna finish up my page like really quickly here. I, I like what we're doing. Um, I just feel like we should end it. So I'm gonna drop in a couple of social media links down here at the bottom, and I'm gonna take my body copy and paste it here, and I'm just gonna do a little quick like copyright thing, uh, copyright surf.co um, 2019. So I've added in my copyright, my social media links, and I feel like that is a good place to stop. You know, we've we've done some initial work, some style, we've implemented those styles onto the homepage. I wouldn't show this to a client yet. I'd wanna build out a few pages uh, before I presented this. But for the most part, I think this is a good stopping place for today. We'll be able to take the work that we've done here in this video and apply it to part two, where we build out that secondary page. I'll see you guys there. Well, that's it. That's part one of designing a surfing website from start to finish. In today's video, we covered color, a little bit of typography, and we made some initial layout and design decisions that are gonna carry through to finish the homepage, and then in the next video, build out a secondary page. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, and I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and taking things from nothing to something. I'll see you in the next video.